spherical beach ball, guess what? We, in this lesson, do not care what the shape is. We don't care if it's a cone. We don't care if it's a pyramid. We don't care if it's a prism. This lesson was about the figures being similar. If those figures are similar, we can use all those cool tricks going from 1D to 2D to 3D, or from 3D to 1D, from 2D to 3D, wherever we need to go. If they are similar, we actually don't care about the shape of the figures. All right, it has a radius of 8. Everyone circle that. Radius of 8. Radius. You stop right there, and you ask yourself, 1D, 2D, or 3D? Radius is a length. It's a segment. It is 1D. Put a little 1D bubble or note. Another spherical beach ball. Here's a question. Are all spheres similar? Yes, and we will look at it a little bit more tomorrow. All right, another spherical beach ball has a radius of two inches. Also a radius, also 1D. How does the volume, stop right there. How many dimensions? 3D. How does the volume of the small beach ball compare to the volume of the larger? When you hear compare, what does that bring to mind? What do you think of? Ratio. Yeah, very good. So, um, we want the small to the large, I guess. Remember, it doesn't really matter to me which one you put first. I'm going to put 2 to 8. Now, before I do anything to that 2 and that 8, I always like to reduce it. What does that reduce to? 140. Okay. So, I've got 1 to 4. 1 is, that 1 is 1D and that 4 is 1D. What is the problem asking us to convert it to? 3D. How do you make something 1D into 3D? Cube it. Cube it. What is one cubed? One. What's four cubed? 64. So when the sides are in a ratio of one to four, the volumes are in a ratio of one to 64. Because volume is 3D and sides are 1D. All right. What's next? Number 11. Jonathan has a cubicle display case for each of his home run baseballs. Does anyone display baseballs? No. No, you got a little cube, glass cube with a baseball in it, maybe? All right. The edges of the cube measure four inches. Stop right there. Edges. Edges are four. How many dimensions? Four. One. D. I don't really, I'm not going to teach you about the fourth dimension. Okay. One D. Okay. You got to tell us now. He has a larger cube for his autograph basketball. If the amount of material needed to make the larger cube is nine times, now let's stop right there. The amount of material needed. What is that? It's surface area. Now, when you're making this, this frame, this display case, are you filling it in with glass, or is it just the surface of glass? Yeah, you're going to put the baseball in there. You're going to put the basketball in there. So it's not a volume thing. The nine times is a surface area thing. So how many dimensions? 2D. Area is always 2D. Volume is always 3D. Everything else is 1D. All right. What is the length of the edge of the basketball cube? All right. So what do we want our answer to be in what dimension? 1D. That's what our answer is going to be. So 1D is going to win the fight. Remember, they're fighting. 1D, 1D, 2D, 2D. But the 1D wins because that's what we want our answer to be in. So the edges are 4. Here's how a student could do it wrong. 4 times 9. Just take the problem. 4 times 9. That's how some of you are going to do it on your test because you're going to forget this lesson. And that would be wrong because, yeah, because 4 is 1D and 9 is 2D. Now, sometimes you would take the 4 and you'd square it and it'd be 2D and 2D. But then your answer would be 2D, and we already agree our answer needs to be 1D. So what do you want me to do? Square root the 9. Square root the 9. So it's 4 times 3. The length of the display case that has a basketball in it is 12 inches. There's usually in this problem one thing you have to do. Sometimes it's squaring, sometimes it's cube rooting, sometimes it's cubing. There's usually one thing you have to do before you can move on. Marcus has several similar fish tanks in the shape of triangular prisms. Remember, we don't care. The 
with their triangular prisms. We don't touch our formula chart in this lesson only. The largest tank has a volume, ooh, that's a good word, that's three, oops, three, okay, 343 times that of the smallest tank. If the base of the largest tank measures 35 inches long, we were kind of having an issue with that, but yeah, when you hear the word long, that means it's a length, that means it's a segment, it's 1D. What is the length, 1D, of the smallest tank? Are we getting bigger or smaller than smaller? We want to get smaller. So this 35, I'm going to show my work up here. This 35 is going to get smaller, not bigger. So when you want something to get bigger, you multiply. When you want something to get smaller, you divide. So if I were doing this the wrong way, I would do that. 35 divided by my scale factor. Except it's a volume scale factor. It's not a plain old scale factor. So volume is 3D, and we need to get to 1D. What's the opposite of cubing something? Cube rooting. Where is that on your calculator? Math. Math, math four. four. Math four. Everyone touch it. Math. Touch the math button. Press four. What is the cube root of 343? So this problem is just 35 divided by 7. Final answer? Five inches. Yep. I kind of over explained all of these. It might have sounded like these were long problems. They're much shorter than that. We just figure out what dimension we're in and how do we get there. Where are we? Where do we want to be? And how do we get there?